we have completed the model shown here on the screen um, using ABS Geodis and this process was documented in the previous video clips of this getting started series and in the present video we will now transfer the model data from ABS Geodis which is mainly used in an office environment to ABS Geocon which is the software module that typically runs in a casting yard environment and which assists in controlling the geometry of the individual segments during the casting process. This transfer will be accomplished by a transfer file which we generate by a transfer object in our model. The object gets a name and just like with all the other objects we get our dialog that will assist us in generating this transfer file. We can have any number of different transfer objects each generating a different transfer file so we can manage the content of each transfer file depending on how the casting yard would like to manage the casting. In our case it will be a very simple exercise to fill out this form. We press sync and this brings up a list of all existing casting sequences in our model and we would like to activate both these casting sequences for our one and only transfer file that we are going to create. One thing left to do we need to define a file name and a path on our computer and this will be the file name I select. Yes I want to overwrite the existing one and this produces the transfer file that we can now send to the casting yard by an email and I'll pretend to be running over to the casting yard and I will see you there with uh, the intention to show you how this data is imported into Geocon. Right, I have now moved to the casting yard and I have started the next module of our uh, suit of software modules ABS Geocon. Geocon now needs to read the data we have just transmitted from the office to the casting yard and we do that by simply starting a new Geocon project. We are now asked to specify the transfer file to be read into Geocon and this is the file we've just generated with Geodes. I'm opening it and I can now select the casting sequences that I would like to add or simply add all of them or I could delete casting sequences from that list if I wanted to. In our case I will select both casting sequences and introduce them into Geocon. I will get to these inputs later. The minimum require, uh, information required here is that we specify the transfer file and select the casting sequences. Press OK. We can now specify a name for this uh, Geocom project. This will be name getting started 01. This is the name of the file that will be created as we work our way through the casting process for this bridge. We know this bridge already. We've seen it a little while ago in uh, Geodes and we are now in Geocon and we will be casting and working our way through the casting process in the next few video clips that come after this. I have now adjusted my screen a little bit in order to be able to explain just a few features of this new 
software environment of ABS Geocon before we proceed into the casting process. What we see is a working environment here, the visualization of the bridge structure or alternatively of the casting yard happens in this area. We have all sorts of um, visualization controls here. We also have a list of all the segments present here which we can switch on and off for the visualization. We have a lot of functions and I encourage you to play around with these functions. We also have an area here where we have a, a, a possibility to activate certain casting sequences and depending on what casting sequence we select we will have a list of the segments contained in that casting sequence down here and for each segment we will have a starting station and a, a state either casting curve or a setting out state or as cast state and some name the name we've chosen before we also have this area up here which will be very important and which we will use a lot in the following um, casting process the program will guide us through the individual steps of casting for each segment and invoking the next step always involve, involves clicking on next next involves the next step the program will ask information for us and when we have provided the information the way we need to we can press accept and then the program will process that information and then we press next again and so forth I mentioned that we can have a view of the structure which is the global view here and alternatively a view of the casting yard which is empty as of yet we will fill this view in the video clips that will come after this one this is a brief overview of this user interface for Geocon and uh, we will be using this user interface for quite a few video clips now and I'm already looking forward to explaining the functionalities of Geocon and the concepts behind our casting simulation in the near future.